Hey, what's up everyone? Mort Coach here, and today we're going to be going over a dumbbell workout for quarterbacks, and we're going to start the video right now. All right, so I wanted to make this somewhat easy, something that you could just do at home in your garage or, you know, really wherever you're at. Uh, what I have here is I have a pair of five pound dumbbells, I have a pair of 20 pound dumbbells, and then I also have one uh, 45 pound dumbbell. Um, we're gonna go into, I'm gonna start with the five pound weights here, and I'm just gonna do big arm circles forward. If you watch any of my you know, workouts before, you know that I like doing these big arm circles to kind of get started. Make sure you have plenty of range of motion within the arms, and we're gonna go back as well. It's Monday here when we're doing this, so it's a great way to start off your week. I think this is a great way to start the day. Uh, or a lot of you guys, for a lot of you guys to start out your upper body workouts, I'm gonna do eight of these, and then I'm gonna go lifting straight up overhead. Again, I'm just using fives. You could go upwards of, you know, 12. I just went for the sake of the video. I'm just gonna do eight, because you get the exercise once you go through. And then we're gonna go off to the side. We're gonna knock, knock out another eight of these ones. And really, you know, we're just trying to build some consistency within the shoulder strength here. So I'm not trying to go super heavy with these, right? I could do more weight if I wanted to. Now I'm gonna go elbows, same height as the shoulders, external rotation. But just being able to restore plenty of range of motion consistently ends up being the name of the game here. Five, six, all together, this should end up taking maybe like 30 minutes or so when you do it all. Um, but today we, we're not gonna go through multiple sets. Then I'm gonna go keep my elbows high, touch my elbows. Six, seven, eight. Then I'm gonna keep my arms high and I'm gonna go internal external rotation from here. And 16 all together. Then I'm gonna go empty can. So I'm gonna go out, come back in, out, come back in. Doing that eight times. Four, five, seven, eight. All right, then I'm gonna go slightly bent over here. We'll get through different angles. And then from here, I'm gonna have my thumbs up. I'm just gonna push out to the side. Eight, and then I'm gonna go with my thumbs down, do the same thing. Eight, and then I'm gonna go with my thumbs down and just lift, the, keeping my elbows straight. Lift straight up, get some flexibility in the wrists. And eight, all right, I'm gonna set down the fives and pick up the 20s. In the 20s, I'm gonna just go ahead and grab the, or have, hold the weight with my elbows close to my body, slight bend, bend in the knees, bend in the waist. And I'm going external rotation. Eight, and I'm going to press up overhead. Four, seven, eight, and then I'm gonna go triceps. Six, seven, Eight. All right, then I'm gonna grab the 45 pound weight. I'm gonna do some single arm snaps here. So with this, this is just gonna be working a little bit more explosive power as well. So I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna bend my knees, make sure I'm keeping my uh, back nice and upright as I'm loading. And then I'm gonna explode and bring the ball, the uh, dumbbell up overhead. For the sake of the exercise, or for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do one side here. And I'm just gonna do six reps. Make sure you're getting your hips involved here. Land it with that elbow straight and sink all the way down into it. Keep that bar or the dumbbell close to your body as you're going through. It's a really good exercise for you. Next, I'm gonna do one arm row. So I got one foot back, my right leg down. I also have my right hand down. I'm just going to pull all the way up. The 45 is too easy for you here. 
definitely, I mean, you could either, if you have it 45 like the most, then just do like more than eight. But uh, if you can go up and wait, obviously go up and wait to make it so that ends up being a nice challenging exercise. Another thing that we're gonna do is use the bench here. So I'm gonna go back to my 20s, do some chest flies. So I'm here going all the way down, trying to keep those elbows nice and straight. Coming back up. Eight. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and lie on my bench, bed, whatever I got here that uh, works out for you. I'm gonna take these fives. I'm gonna press up overhead. And then I'm gonna go with my thumbs up, do that same thing, except I'm, I'm now lifting. Eight. All right, then I'm just gonna finish it off with some of my favorite bicep exercises. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go straight biceps here. And really this is, I'm gonna put this into like my routine that I'm typically doing with, you know, really any type of overhead athletes here. All the way down as you're coming through. Go to eight and then from there I go right into shoulder press. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna go thumbs up. One, two, Three. This is really good to get all the different parts of your shoulders here. Six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna go back into those triceps again. Two. And then I'm gonna go externally rotated. So I'm really turning my thumbs out here. For this, you don't go all the way into an extension. You're just maintaining that externally rotated spot. Or doing another eight of the curls. So it's just gonna get a wide variety of the muscle here. Really gets you fired up within the bicep. And then I'm gonna do that bent over external rotation. So we're getting all the different planes of the back as well as getting a few different parts of your biceps or all the different parts of your biceps. Eight. And then last part of the workout here is just gonna be dumbbell presses. So we're gonna control down, press up, Control down, press up. Make sure you get good explosion here as you're coming up. And that's eight. So I'd say go through that like two, three times, especially with like the shoulder presses, um, the external rotation, uh, the dumbbell rows, the single arm push ups, those are all even the snatches. You know, those are all really good things to be able to do multiple times and also things that you could definitely add weight to over a period of time. So, you know, that should be really helpful for you guys that are looking to improve your shoulder strength. This is something you could do easily three, four times a week. Stay consistent with, you could change up how many reps you're doing so you can make it so you do, you know, more reps of the bench, more reps of the rows, things like that to make it so, you know, you could build up some more strength or you could also really add more weight to make it so then you're able to get a little bit more explosive, a little bit more power and some of those exercises. But yeah, big thing here is just to be able to be consistent with this. And if you don't have something that you're consistently doing with your shoulders to help build up your range of motion and, and the parts of the, the shoulder that are gonna be impacting your, either your throw when you're as a quarterback or as a pitcher, uh, or really, you know, if you're throwing a javelin, anything like that, you know, these exercises really help build up the rotator cuff muscles, your range of motion in the overhead position, uh, the range of motion in just like your shoulder and your humerus. Uh, in general, and you know, those are great things. Those are important things that you have to be able to do, uh, and you have to be able to do them consistently in order to actually see the results when it comes to, you know, playing on the field. So, uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, you can leave those down below. Uh, and also check out some of our programs. We have things that will help you be able to do more exercises than just this. This is some of the basics here, uh, but really be able to be on something that's structured, something that's going to help you out, and really put a big focus on your mechanics, right? That's something that we're huge on here at the performance side is really making it so you can understand the mechanics and how that ends up being a big part, a, a big part of how you throw, how you move, and how you're able to you know, take your game to the next level. So again, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.